Good morning, Sarah and friends. And this morning's uh, story from the Bible is from the book of Daniel, which is in the Old Testament, chapter 3. And it is about three very courageous, God-fearing men by the name of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Well, let's get right to our story. Let's meet our first guy today. This is the King Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar was a king and he really was very powerful. He decided one day to build a huge statue made of gold. This statue made of gold was really big and it was probably around 90 feet tall. That's bigger than a lot of houses and churches and it was huge. And he told everybody, he said, you guys, I made this statue and I want you to worship it. It's so beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's made of gold. Everybody loves it. I want you, whenever there's some music played, I want everyone to bow down and worship it. Got it? And if you don't, I'm going to throw you into the fiery furnace. Boom, boom, boom. Well, everybody, they wanted to obey Nebuchadnezzar. So when the music played, do, 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 do. Everyone got on their faces and they bowed down and they worshiped this silly, silly idol, this big old statue. See, everybody's worshiping it. Well, some of these guys came over and they said, Hey, Nebuchadnezzar, guess what? Those three Jews that you've got locked up, they won't bow down to your statue. And Nebuchadnezzar was like, are you kidding me? I don't believe it. Bring them here. So they bring in Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Now these guys love the Lord. Oh, they love the Lord so much. And they weren't about to disobey their God, who is our God. And they knew that God would help them to stand strong in their convictions. A conviction is when you know something is in your heart and you know what the right thing is and you do it no matter what. Let's think about that for a second. Have you ever been in a situation where everybody was doing something and you knew for a fact that it was wrong? I have. I've been looking at it like, oh, that's wrong, but you know what? I don't want everyone to think that I'm a weirdo. I don't want everybody to turn their backs on me, and I want everybody to accept me. So, you know what? I think I'm going to do it, too. Well, you know what? God's going to help us to stand strong, just like he helped Shadrach, Beshach, and Abednego stand strong. So, let's see what happens next. All right, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, I really like you guys, and I want to know... Is it true you guys won't bow down to my gorgeous golden statue? Now you know that if you don't do it, that I'm going to throw you into the fiery furnace. Bum, bum, bum. Well, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they stayed there for a second and they said, you know what? We really don't have to answer you about this because we only answer to our God. Our God helps us to stand strong. Our God is good and what is a fiery furnace compared to our wonderful and good God. What? What do you mean? You're not going to obey me? You're not going to worship my statue? Come on, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You know that if I, you don't bow down to my beautiful statue, I'm going to throw you in this furnace. Well, King, you're going to have to get over yourself because we are not going to bow down to that statue. Okay. I've warned you, and I've warned you, and I've warned you. Throw them into the furnace, and before you do that, heat it up to seven times hotter than normal. Oh, no. She, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego are like, it's okay. So here come the guards. I'm the guard. And he puts them one at a time. He puts them in the fiery furnace. It's so hot in there. We can't even imagine how hot it is. And it's seven times seven, it's seven times hotter than usual. And whenever the guards put them in there, ah, they end up burning up. And Nebuchadnezzar's like, what? What's going on? Then all of a sudden, Nebuchadnezzar's looking in there and he sees a fourth person 
walking around in that fiery furnace. He sees Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in there. They're not burning up. They're walking around. And then he sees a fourth person. And he's like, what the what? Is that the Son of God? Is that an angel? Whoa, their God must be really amazing to save them from my fiery furnace. Get them out of there. Come on out. I want to talk to you guys about this. So, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they come out. And look, they're not even burnt. There's not a single hair on their head that's singed. And they don't even smell like smoke. That God is a good and wonderful God of theirs. You know what? I like him so much, I am going to start worshiping him too. Oh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, thank you for standing strong. So look at what their obedience to God did. They converted Nebuchadnezzar's old mean heart and they converted it. They were able to be a good example. And now Nebuchadnezzar is worshiping the true God. I love God too. I love him. I love him. Woohoohoo! He's awesome. So when we stand strong and we stand up for the things that we know that God wants us to stand up for, we could even win the hearts of even the most hard hearted person. Now, what I want you to do today is I want you to go to YouTube today. I want you to go to Life Tree Kids. There's so many songs on there that just worship the good God who helps us stand strong and how he's always with us every step of the way. Even like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was there in the fiery furnace and an angel accompanied them and they weren't, they didn't even smell like smoke. You can be victorious too when you rely on God to help us to stand strong. I love you guys. I hope you share this story this week with someone else. And just like I like to play, uh, use my imagination to bring these Bible stories to life, you can do it too. And you know how much I love to see your videos, so don't hesitate to send them to me. I love you guys, and remember that God loves you, and he helps us to stand strong.